Roses are red, violets are blue. I may not have a man yet, but boy, do I have some news for you. Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth, and here's your news update for this week. Since this week, Valentine's Day, is coming up soon, we prepared a little special something and some questions prepared by Ava and Amrapreet. So let's see what some of these heartbroken souls have to say. What's up, Mandela? Today we're going to be recording, uh, interviewing people, asking them their best pickup lines, their ideal woman, get that kind of stuff for Valentine's Day. And uh, I hope we get to embarrass some people today, maybe break up some relationships. Uh, we'll see how it goes. What is the best pickup line you've got right now? Um, pickup line is, are you a scorekeeper? Because you scored me. Damn, girl, I see you, I see you. Right. I'm the best user at the school. Yo, for real. Yo. All right, you rush. Tell me, big man, what is an ideal woman to you? Someone who's loyal. Yeah. Understanding. And uh -huh. take full All right, we might have to censor that, but I respect you, bro. Okay. All right. What is the best pickup line you've got right now? Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Jess Karin, tell me, what is a 10 out of 10 woman to you, Jess Karin? <laughs> I don't know, like, um, like at least my height, my height. Your height? Yep, yep. Not taller, not shorter? Not tall. Not Yo, tall. I'm sure you'd love a girl who's taller than you, bro. I know, I know who you got. I know, I know what kind of person you are. What All right. kind of person am I? That wants a really big woman, really tall. You know, really muscular. I know you're. I know you like that. All right. You can't lie to me. There's no <laughs> lying here. Is that there's true? Lying. Is, is lying. that true? No. So your ideal woman is just a woman that's just like you. Yeah. Basically. So like, beard, right? Everything like that. Uh, just tall. You heard it here, folks. He likes women with beards. Um, hey, you rush. What is a 10 out of 10 woman to you? It's a Valentine's special, don't worry about it. Uh, just someone who respects people and a nice person overall. That, that's the only thing. That's the and only thing. Very smart. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. They're just a good person overall. Anything else, anything else at all? Uh, anything else? Looks don't matter to me. It's about what's inside, not out. <laughs> Goofy. Yo, give me your microphone, bro. You liar. You cannot be lying to me on the news, bro. Uh, Harpreet, what is your ideal man? Some traits in an ideal man. Non-existent. Why, why is that? Why, why non-existent? Tell me. Because why rely on men? Live a life. Okay. Get a Alright, All right, give me the mic. Doctor. No, no. Now become a doctor. No, you're done. You give me talk. the mic. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Don't worry about that. Alright, men are amazing. Alright, I can speak from experience. Okay. What is the best pickup line you've got? Um, are you the universe? Because I can see you and I. Do you guys like money? Because I know I do. I, I love money. And here's an opportunity for some grade 12 students. So, Education Matters is actually having a scholarship worth up to $80,000 for grade 12 students, part of CBE, in order to apply and be eligible for this scholarship, here's one thing that you have to make sure. One, are you ready for graduation? Do you have your requirements met? Two, have your program set in mind? And three, you have to answer a 500 word essay on what it would mean to you if you were to receive this type of opportunity and how what program, what the program you are entering is going to have an impact on our community. So good luck to those who are applying to that. And also congratulations to all of the robotics students who competed in last weekend's tournament. Hope you guys won. I don't know yet. One last thing, make sure that you have ordered your yearbooks. If not, you'll have to wait until the next opportunity comes. As well, grade 12 students, make sure to keep your eyes open on the D2L shell so you know all the stuff going on with grad. Until next time, Elizabeth. See you guys later.